reusable rockets are no longer a spectacle. This year saw them gradually transform into a piece of infrastructure, with China emerging as a strong competitor in the race for space transport vehicles. Hello everyone, this is Chen Chen, and let's take a look at this year's major breakthroughs in reusable rockets. December, in particular, was a month punctuated by two significant space flights. Landspace Jusia 3 and the Long March 12A each completed their maiden mission carrying satellites to orbit. While both succeeded in the delivery leg of their inaugural flight, they fell short as far as recovery was concerned. And that's the point. Recovering a booster is extremely complex. It requires surviving hypersonic re-entry, withstanding extreme heat, executing multiple engine re-ignitions, and maintaining precision guidance all the way to the landing pad. SpaceX took nearly a decade to make Falcon 9 land routinely. Now if you look at Juju 3's recovery attempt, the chief commander said that it had reached controlled descent, engine ignition, and guidance, just not a clean landing, so very close to succeed. A Long March 12A followed a similar pattern. But behind this recovery test is China's bold choice to skip traditional aerospace learning curves by attempting recovery tests during maiden flights. Jujia oh. 3 is a two-stage stainless steel rocket powered by liquid methane oxygen. This type of fuel burns cleaner and thus requires less time to clean up or reuse. Standing at 66 meters tall, rocket has a maximum takeoff weight of about 570 tons, slightly heavier than SpaceX Falcon 9, and making it one of China's largest launch vehicles to date, second only to the heavy lift Long March 5. Once recovery and rapid use are achieved, ideally three launches per month, and that's more routine than I change my bed sheets. The company said the cost would could fall down toward the $3,000 per kilogram range, roughly the benchmark Falcon 9 has made for commercially competitive launches. And the race is widening. In November, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin became the second company in the world to achieve booster recovery during the second mission of its nuclear rocket, following a decade in development. Japan's Honda stunned this industry with a surprise vertical launch and landing rocket test, and India is pursuing a space plane style recovery alongside private startups. Now, in China, multiple reusable rockets are scheduled for new attempts in 2026. And I firmly believe that some of them will stick the landing. 